To customize the ribbon here, you can do it one of many ways. First of all, the simplistic way to do this, as far as customization goes, is that if you want more screen space, you can hide the ribbon. You can do that one of many ways. First of all, you can come up here, up at the top in the title area, and click on the ribbon display options. Click on that, and the default is to show the tabs and commands. Now, if you go ahead and click on show tabs, the commands hide or are hidden until you come up here and click on home and it temporarily displays the commands below that when you click on it or click off it collapses again so you're back to your greater viewing area you can do that or come up here and click on it again and say that you want to auto hide the ribbon in which case oh, where did it go well it's up at the top here you see that three it's ellipsis button or build button in some programs so I'll call it the build button that anywhere up here you don't have to be right on the three little dots, but anywhere up at the top, when you see it go, that light orange, when you click, it opens up, and then you can select a command, and when you click off of it or select a command, it totally hides everything. So if you want to go back to the way it was, then you can go back to show tabs and commands. Now you can do it that way, or you can simply double click on a tab, and it does the partial hide, just the commands. And so if you click on it, temporarily shows it, and then click off or click on a command, and it hides it. And then to bring it back, double click really fast and it's permanent. You can do it that way, or Control F1 does that. Control F1 again brings it back. Or coming all the way over to the far right here, you've got that collapse the ribbon. And you can see in the pop up, the shortcut keys that I just went over is the Control plus F1. So there you go. Need a bit more space, collapse the ribbon so only the tab name show. Click on that and there you go. So we'll do Control F1 to bring it back up. Now you can do that, but if you want to get a little bit more persnickety or detailed when it comes to your ribbon, like maybe you want to be able to create your own tab. How about that? And put some commands on that, your own groups. Or maybe you want a current tab to be, well, less crowded here. Maybe I don't use the drawing group. I don't want to see that. Or maybe I don't want to see the home tab at all. So what I could do is I can right click anywhere on the ribbon and go down to customize the ribbon. And there you go. So there's the quick access toolbar and there's customize the ribbon. So over on the right hand side, you can see all those that have been checked are those that are currently displayed on the ribbon or will be displayed when you work on something specific that will call that tab forth, that contextual tab. Like when you're working on the objects, pictures, shapes, a smart art. So we've got here, let's take a look, let's scroll down. We've got our home tab and then we've got the insert, the design and these other tabs. Well, the handout master, that's contextual. When you actually are working in the handout master, it'll pull forward. In any case, if you want to go ahead and for the home tab, it's expanded. You can see the groups there. You can expand those. And if you don't want the clipboard group, you can select that and see remove and it's gone. You don't want the slides group. You can remove it. That's gone. If you want to add commands to a group that's already there by default, well, you can't do it. So if I come over here and select eyedropper and I say I want to add it to it, it says mm, you got to create your own custom group. You can't mess around with the default groups. Okay. So if I go ahead and just for fun, I remove pretty much all the groups here on the home tab. I know it's spooky, but I'll show you how to fix it if you get yourself in a bind. And we just have the editing group. On that home tab, you can see it's checked, so that's going to be displayed. If I uncheck it, it'll hide it. But on that, let's come down here and say we want a new group. And with that group, you get a generic name, new group. I mean, uh, what does that mean to me? Let's come down here and rename it. And you get the window that says choose an icon that represents that group. So if you add that group to the quick access toolbar, as I showed you in the previous training video, you can select the icon that's going to represent that group. So you can click on that icon like, oh, the happy face, because we're always happy. And down below, the display name. Let's call it something spiffy because, hey, everything we do here at Dreamforce is spiffy. So if we go ahead and click Okie Dokie, that's the name of my new group on the Home tab along with the Editing group, the only remaining default group, original group on the Home tab. And then I can go ahead and add commands to that custom group. So I can just come over here and say I want the eyedropper, yes, and do the font and email and whatever you want to add there. Okay, so we have that on the Home tab. We pretty much obliterated it except for the two. And then let's go ahead and uncheck all these so we don't have to see those. And even the slideshow. And let's go ahead and create our own tab on the ribbon. Click New. And there it is, a new tab with a new group. And what name do we want to give the new tab? Rename it and call it our fancy tab. And then go ahead and click Okie Dokie. And then 
we got to have a group to be able to add commands to that tab. So it gives us a default one here that we can go ahead and well rename it and call it our formatting group. And then something to represent that. Oh, maybe a butterfly because that's so colorful. Formatting group and then go ahead and come over here either under popular commands or click on the drop down arrow if you want to see all the commands that are available. Same thing in the quick access toolbar training video. Sorts it numerically and then alphabetically and whatever formatting commands that you find and I'm not going to sit here and go through it all but you get the gist of it. Find those commands that you want to put over here on that custom group and then just click add and add and well, we're almost done here. Cool. So when I click okie dokie we're just going to have the home tab with only two groups. We took out the rest. We've hidden well the insert design transitions so insert design transitions I think animations that will be gone and then we'll have our fancy tab so let's go ahead and click okie dokie and wow look at that our home tab has two groups the editing and something spiffy oh that's nice you can format the background so that command works opens up the format background task pane which we'll cover later on and when I right click in a blank area of that group and add that to the quick access toolbar we have our happy face that represents that so when I go to my fancy tab and I only have the one formatting group and I can't use any of that because I got nothing that would activate these commands to be able to work on it but let's right click and add that to the quick access toolbar and it's the butterfly so without leaving this tab if I want to go back to the group that's on the home tab just click on the happy face and there's the spiffy group great now what if you're like oh fudge I really went too far well you can always right click on the ribbon to customize it and down below you get two options when it comes to resetting click on it you can reset only a selected ribbon tab so well, I can't reset that because that's a custom so if I select the home tab which I butchered remember I removed a lot and added my own if I click reset and reset only that then everything on the home tab is going to go back to the way it was and then click okie dokie go to the home tab it's back to the way it was all the groups and not my spiffy group but what about the fancy tab and these other ones that I've hidden well right click and go back to customize the ribbon and you can check all these to display them again that works or you can go ahead and click reset and reset all customization that also includes anything you customize on the quick access toolbar so if I do that and I say are you sure it says delete all ribbon and quick access toolbar it includes that up there customizations for this program and say yes and click okie dokie there we go we got the insert design transition we have no fancy custom tab we're back to where we started except I do like that save as up here on the quick access toolbar which isn't here so if I right click and customize the quick access toolbar scroll down double click save as that's one of my favorite commands thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products please see the description below this video